Hey everyone, it's the Unpro Pro here, and welcome back to more of the RPG Maker tutorials. Uh, this time I'm going to be going uh, going. Blah, 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 I can't even speak here. <laughs> uh, this time I'm going to be going over um, key items. So right now we're going to go ahead and create. Uh, you can load this map up by the way by right clicking and load sample map as the jail map. Uh, I just use this for the example. Anyways, so we're going to be making it to where you have to have a jail key to get into these rooms. First, let's go ahead and put a treasure chest here. Actually, click event, uh, treasure chest that, let's just say, 25 gold, whatever, you know, anything you want to put. New event here, we're going to put a door. Here we go. But we're, oh wait, door two, door three, okay, it's door three. We're going to put door three, I think this would look okay. Yeah, because we don't really have any other doors here. So, um, I guess this one will do. I guess we'll do this one right here. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me go into this real quick and let's see how this looks. You know what? Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna change that there. Uh, actually, you know what? No, we don't got anything else. So it looks like we're just gonna be sticking with that. <laughs> actually, you know what? We can do tile set B. Yep, we can. We sure can. We're, we're going to do this. We're going to do it like this. So here, copy and paste that. Actually, no, not even copy and paste it yet. Actually, yeah, you know, you can. Um, but the, name this door top. Name this one. Double click it. Door bottom. All right, for the other doors, uh, same thing, I guess. Just copy and paste this. Actually, no, we're, not yet, though. Wait, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> really confusing, like always. Um, Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to Conditional Branch and look for item right here. Item. Well, uh, as you can see, we don't have a key item yet, so we're going to cancel all this. So now we're going to go here. Go to Items. And let's make a... Let's make a uh, Prison Key. Let's give the key little the little key uh, thing. You can find one. This one right here would be fine. Um, the description opens locked prison rooms. All right. You can also do the same thing with treasure chests, like using treasure key and all that, uh, if you want to. But uh, item type, we're going to make it key item. Scope, none, occasion, never. Price, zero. Or you can make it a price if you actually want to sell it. Consume, no. Or you can make it to where you have to find multiple ones. Uh, they only work once. You can have it like that too by doing consume yes. Or you can also just remove it anyways for an event. Um, anyways, so just click OK. Make a little charge here. This contains prison key. <clears throat> so now we'll go back to here and do conditional branch. Branch. <laughs> conditional branch. Item. Prison key is in inventory. And you say... You opened the door. Let's play a sound effect before that too. Right click and in, click insert and go to play SE. Open. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to do on this one we're going to do a switch. Well, oh, actually variable no, yeah, we're gonna do a switch in case. Okay, we're we're gonna do it that way. Door one. Door two. How many rooms was there? Well, three, four, five. Let's bring it up here. I don't know if there was five door or five rooms or not, but if there was, well, if not, we got an extra variable. Anyways, make sure one is on. Now copy a uh, page, and then click switch. Door one is on. Else, say you don't has the key. I should have put a cat smile. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a cat smile there. Heck yeah, cause cat smile is rule. <laughs> Nerd. All right, so let's go here and copy and paste this one. Oh wait, actually edit this one first. New page. That's all. You don't even have to really mess with this one. Door one is on. Oh, make sure it says um. Make sure this one is the same as characters. Wait, I didn't set this one the same, did I? I did. Make sure the top one is below characters. This one is the same as characters. 
on this one. On this one, make sure it's below. That way you can go through it. Now just copy and paste this. Paste it here, paste it here, paste it here, paste it here. Yeah, I was right, there's five rooms. Cool. Paste this on here, 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 here. Now you want to just go here and make sure door two is set instead of door one. Go to the one right underneath that and select door two. Make sure you also set this to door two. That's important. Otherwise, you're, you're going to like open this door and this one's going to pop over and vanish. It's going to be like, whoa, what? Or, or no, the top part will vanish. That's right. Sorry, guys. Lost my train of thought. Change it again. Go to door three. I'm sure you guys see the pattern already. And uh, door three. Door four. Uh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, it's four. Okay. I almost forgot which one I clicked for a second there. Door four here. Door five. And. Ding! <laughs> Alright, so he's done. Let's test this out. So. That is so dang loud. Oh, I forgot to change it to the top of the thing, so we'll do that. You don't have the key. Catch my. <gasps> prison key was found. So you go to items, you'll see it's not here, but you go to key end. Hey, what's up? It's the prison key. I don't know. You open the door. This one unlocks. <laughs> I forgot to set those. And uh, for some reason we can't <clears throat> like walk through. But it's set for below. Fine, just click, just make sure it says throw. Like, make sure it's, actually, you know what, it's not gonna make it. Oh, no, duh. No, duh. <laughs> My gosh. Gotta set this to door three as well. I forgot to do the bottom rows. <laughs> Shows how smart I am. Nerd. And uh, we're going to change the graphics, too, for the other things. What? Did I not, like, select the right one? I didn't. Look at that. Man, I'm all kinds of messed up here today, aren't I? Uh, what? What? Oh, okay, here we go. That was that one. Going to go to this one. And set this one here. <laughs> My nose is, like, all itchy and... Stuff. Alright, so. No, 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 not there, man. I don't know why I just did that. I'm so used to, like, going there. I'm like, yo. Alright. And go here. So, you don't has the key. Now I has the key. I use Zig the key. Zig the key. You open the door. You open the door. You open the door. You open the door. <laughs> 25 G's was found. Now let me show you how to do this for treasure chest. So you want to right click it, right click and make a treasure chest. Yo, say like, hey, this junk has a potion in it. But what you actually want to do is be like, switch, make make a no, maybe I think chest one, a lock chest of course. Chest one is on. Uh, copy and paste that. That way you move it over one. And uh, over here, just delete, uncheck this, delete everything. Sorry if I'm going too fast. Uh, let me go ahead and actually explain that. When you're here, when you're on the original one, you're going to see all this stuff. If you make the switch and then press copy event page and then paste, it's going to basically make an exact copy. But it, this allows you to move it over. That way you don't have to cut, like, randomly like and customly, like, create a, um, a chest. You can do it all easily like this all right so anyways go to the one you just had here and make sure direction fix is on it'll it'll be like that by default unless you want to make your own you know, there we go. all right conditional branch oh you know what we uh, just click okay on this for now we need to make another item this one is going to be usable i guess chest key uh you consume no don't worry about that it's still going to be usable and like it'll run up. I'll show you how to do that in a second. None. Basically the same. The same thing. I, I could have just copied and pasted it, honestly. We're just going to make this look different, though. Let's get this in. Uh, eh, let's make it the same, I guess. Yeah, let's do the same. When does it protect you? Yes, I know this. Thank you. Okay, so. Onward. Opens. Wait, what? No, I was like a key over with my hands. Opens the chest. 
Okay. Now, um, let's actually have this thing right here. Actually, you know what? Let's have it in here. Event, treasure chest, contains item, chest key. Now, conditional branch, switch chest one is on. Okay, uh, here, here we go. You use the chest key. There's an nice mark. Now, uh, control items, or change items, rather. Chest key, remove one. And now, we simply turn on the switch. Uh, oh yeah, chest one. Sorry, I'm just lost in train of thought there. Now, we're not done yet. Instead of, okay, normally it's going to be like, yo, what's going on? Now, uh, or actually, you know what? We don't even need to do this. We don't even need to do this. Just highlight everything, right click it and click cut, and then go here and paste. Uh, right here, where the sound effect is, click cut again, put it above that. And you know what? We didn't even need this extra page. Cool. So we didn't even really need the other uh, switch. Uh, again, like this was not planned at all. I just kind of thought of something. I was like, hey, I'll just do a tutorial on this. Okay, so I think we's done. Yes, I do believe we's done. Okay, yes, I know this. You've told me this before. Thank you. All right, let's do it. Oh, dog crap, that is loud. Scared the crap out of me. Oh, you know what? We forgot, we forgot to say the message. Hold on, let's say the message real quick. Hold on, oops. Wait. Why you know has key? Jesus, loud. Why no key? Well, now he has a prison key. Oh, yo, look, wait, has a chase key. Oh, yo, what's that, bruh? Uh, oh! I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. I am so sorry, guys. I don't know. Conditional branch. Item. Chess key. And then you know what? To my defense, I'm tired, okay? <laughs> now, this uh, should be good. You don't have the key. The prison key was found. You opened the door. 25G were found. You opened the door. Chess key was found. Yay! So that's good, and there you go. You no longer have the chest key, and yeah. So, I really hope y'all enjoys this video. And uh, yeah, see y'all later. Peace.